Hi, welcome to the next session of SAP FICO training. Today's topic is accounts receivable. As you already know, accounts receivable deals with customer where we records all the transactions related to customers. It basically includes the goods sold to customer, invoices are booked, and then the incoming payment against them are taken up, as well uh, the advance from the customer and different all the different transactions related to the customers are taken in. In today's topic, we'll be discussing about the overview of accounts receivable, defining customer account groups, number range for customer account groups, define cash discount for incoming invoices, creation of GL master where we create the accounts, ledger accounts for uh, uh, like sundry debtors, sales account, then maintaining dot document number range, creation of customer master, and then after all the customization, unit testing. Now coming up to the overview on accounts receivable, it records accounting data of all customers, integral part of sales management. Most of the data in account receivable is obtained from sales and distribution module. As in SAP, account receivable is a sub-ledger which allows you to effectively manage your customers' accounts and the unpaid invoices against the customers. Account receivable component records and administers accounting data of all customers. It is a very integral part of sales management which is taken up with sales and distribution module in SAP. All the posting in account receivable are also recorded directly into the ledger. As said that account receivable is a sub-ledger and every sub-ledger in SAP is linked to a GL account which finally take it to the ledger and from which the financials are prepared. Different GL accounts are updated depending upon the different customer transactions involved in it. Accounts receivable is not only one of the branches of accounting that forms the basis of adequate and orderly accounting. It also provides the data required for effective credit management as well as for liquidity planning like cash budgets, cash, how much cash liquidity is there and credit management is done with a sub-module in SAP which is termed as credit management itself whereas liquidity planning is done with the help of treasury module. So moving up to the next customer account groups. Customer account group is more alike the vendor account groups which, you, which we have done in accounts payable earlier. First and the key configuration step in account receivable is to have a customer account groups created. Customer account groups determines the number range for customer account, number should be. Whether the number is assigned internally by the system or externally by the user, deciding which fields to be required, optional or suppressed. Now coming to accounts, customer account groups, every that huge list of customers with any organization or any company, but those customers are categorized on different levels, on different requirements. Like as in the screen, the customer can be grouped as a material customer or a service customer or a finance customer or for that matter any as per the requirement of the client. So taking up a practical example, any big company they at times have different number of customers. They have domestic customers. In domestic customers, they would be providing services. They would be selling manufacturing goods. They could be financing at the same time. So these all are different groups of customers in 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 customer uh, in for that particular organization. Apart from that, even they could be foreign customers. So it depends how the organization or the SAP implementation client want the things to be taken up in their system. So that depends upon how the management wants the reports 
or the data and information from the SAP system. Accordingly, we categorize the customers into different groups. So you can create the customer groups and once it is created, the customer groups are assigned to the number range. So it is a very key concept in the configuration of customer master data to create a customer group. Creating customer group is the first step as already said. Customer groups are used to segregate different types of customers as well as to segregate the customers by sales and distribution partner function. So the finance department doesn't create the groups. They in fact get coordinated or in coordination with the sales and distribution department and accordingly they decides under which group the customer has to be opened or has to be created. So the customer group allows you to have separate purposes and filled status for different types of customers. So customer groups allow you to have separate purposes and filled status for different types of customers. That is why it is said it is an important to work closely with sales and distribution and have a good layout before between FI module and ST module so that the master data fulfills the need of both modules. So it's very important to decide the customer account groups and you can have different number range accordingly. If you want your different account customer account groups to have a different numbers of customer numbering or a code uh, when we create customer master different code is generated which is depending upon the number range which we define over here. So if you want the numbers to be different for each group you can have different number range as in the screen or even if you want same number range to be followed for all the groups you can even do the same. So it's up to the up to you how you want to take ahead. Number range for customer account groups as already discussed. Create number range for customer accounts. A number range can be valid for more than one customer account group or even for one single customer group account group as well. The number of for a business partner master record can be assigned in one of the following ways that could be externally or internally means you can give the number range so that the system could generate an internally automatic number whenever a customer master is created. But instead if you want to give an external number to the customer master you can have an option of creating externally as well. Customer number is created at client level and hence can be extended. That will be see when we will be doing the configuration in the SAP system. So define cash discount for incoming invoice. Define cash discount for incoming invoices where we define the ledger account for cash discount allowed accounts in the customization and the system then post the cash discount amount to this account when clearing open item in the customer. For example, whenever we book any transactions related to customer, the very first step is to sell up the goods to the customer and for that a bill and invoice is raised in the system. In any accounting software the process is always in such. So you book the invoice for the customer and later on you receive the incoming payment from the customer. Suppose there is an invoice raised of $100 and now you are giving a $5 of discount to the customer that means you will be receiving $95 as an incoming payment from the customer. So $5 is the discount given and in SAP you can configure where that 5 rupees will go as a cash discount allowed and the system will automatically receive 95 and $100 invoice will be cleared off against that payment. So the invoice will no more reflect in the customer master and the account can get cleared off. Now if your company grant further cash discount terms to customer 
it is necessary to define the cash discount account that will be used by automatic account assignment. That means we assign a cash discount account in the automatic assignment from where the system automatically decides that this discount of $5 which will go to which ledger account, which GL account. The cash discount account is debited when the payment of cross amount less the cash discount amount are received within the specified time frame for which the cash discount is allowed. It depends upon the payment term between the company and the customer. So accordingly the rules are defined which we will be looking after in the SAPs when we will be doing the customization and later on when we will be doing the unit testing, the transactions related to these. Creation of GL Master. The reconciliation account ensures the integration of sub-ledger account into general ledger. When you post items to a subsidiary ledger, the system automatically posts the same data to the general ledger. Each subsidiary ledger has one or more reconciliation accounts in general ledger. So it basically has said earlier in the beginning that an account receivable is a subledger and in SAP every subledger is assigned finally to a GL account where the values flow in the ledger account and on the basis of which the financials are prepared. So over here we create the reconciliation account that is the GL account that is sundry debtors and at the same time we create the other GL as well which are needed for account receivable. For example uh, the very first is we book the invoice. When we book the invoice the sales ledger is credited and the customer ledger is debited. So we have to create the customer ledger and the sales ledger. Second comes the incoming payment. When we receive the incoming payment the bank account is debited and the customer gets credited. So again the bank has to be created if it is not created in the system. So you need to create these ledgers then only you can go for making these postings in the SAP system. As you can see in the screen these are the different account groups created and these account this particular groups of customers are could be whether external customer or domestic customer or other customers and accordingly the these are basically the orange mark in the middle is the ledger account. These ledgers are created and ultimately depending upon whether that customer is an export customer for material customer group then we assign the export customer GL account to this and if that material customer is a domestic customer then we assign the domestic ledger account to the customer master. So it works in the same way. Next is maintaining document number range. As we did in accounts payable, in accounts payable we created 15 and 19 as a document number. In the same way in account receivable we will be maintaining 18 and 14 as a number range, account document number range. Whenever you book a customer invoice, system generates an automatic number. We will see that in the screen later on. But Whenever you post any customer invoice, system uh, generates an automatic number which is termed as the voucher number or in SAP we say is document number. And that document number is maintained with this 18 number. 18 document number in which we put a serial number from and to and that from and to is the number which is generated when we post any, any customer invoice in the system. In the same way when there is a customer payment, incoming payment, then we generate, we maintain a document number range of 14. In the same way as we maintained 19 for vendor invoice in accounts payable and 15 for vendor payment in accounts payable. It works just the same. Creation of customer master. Customer master is a subsidiary ledger of sundry debtors. Customer master controls how business transactions are recorded and processed by the system. Sundry debtors is a reconciliation account under current assets. Customer code are at client level. 
so moving up customer master is created centrally in sales and distribution and financial accounting with their respective views if a customer is linked to sales and distribution module in sap in that case the customer master is created by the sales and distribution department but if that particular sale or that particular suppose customer is not related to sales and distribution but a direct sale is done then the customer master is created with the finance and accounts department when a customer is created centrally it has a sales view and also the accounting view sales view means the sales details are put up in the particular customer master whereas in the when it is created only through finance and accounts only the accounting view is maintained which is basically needed just to get the transactions posted in the system when it is defined in financial accounting only the accounting view are defined as said so now moving up to the configuration steps these are the above configurations which we will be doing in sap system itself so let's begin with the configuration steps the steps are as under first will be defining the customer account groups then defining number range for customer master assign number range to customer account groups define customer tolerance define customer discount for incoming invoices maintain document number create jail reconciliation accounts create customer master records jail master records to be created in ar and then unit testing so moving to the account customer account groups as you can see the path is already there as we already discussed for the customer account groups earlier that in this we basically maintain the number range for the customer masters and it also look after the filled status for different type of customers basically means separating different types of customers into different customer groups you can make different fields as required optional or suppressed for example suppose my own company 1200 which we created has got different customers if i categorize those customer as one as a service service customer and one as material customer so in that case i will be creating two customer account groups one as a service customer and another as a finance customer now in those two different customer groups i want the customer masters which will be created there are certain fields which i want to be mandatorily to be filled in service group whereas some fields mandatory in the field in the finance group how this will work let's see in the sap system itself now i'm logging to the sap gui the username and the password so now i would be working with the path as the path says i have to go to the img screen for that again spr is the transaction code enter i will go to the img screen then i will be moving to the financial accounting account receivable payable customer account for customers so we'll be moving to accounts financial accounting new account receivable in that i am working on accounts 
customer accounts I will go to customer then I have to go to master data and in master data I have to create the group so preparation for creating customer master data as we went over here from this and defining the group so defining the group is over here define account groups with screen layouts now moving up over here executing it there are different customer groups already created as you can see different groups are already there consumer wholesale franchise customers sales partner competitors pay to bill and number of different customer groups are already in the system now what I will be creating as decided is first I will be creating one service customer group so for service custom group I will be giving it S E R V now I can write it over here service customer group and then once you fill this you can go to this there are three kind of fill status which can be changes can be done to this so as you can see that they are filled status groups are divided into three parts in the screen one is general data another is company code data and next is sales data basically general data the field is in this section is valid for customer master data regardless of the company code using it so this general data basically takes the general details of the customer now if you double click on this general data you will find what are the details what are the different fields in it it contains the basic details informations about the customer like address his communication details his marketing details payment transactions suppose I go to the address and double click on the address now it includes number of different fields in this and all of them are in the optional mode that means the screen will be displayed to you when you will be creating the customer master but they are not mandatory if you wish you can skip them and the system will allow you to skip to these fields on a screen so if I make any of these fields as a mandatory part in that case suppose I make the reason as a mandatory part in that case you can see the optional has changed now to the required entry and in this case if I save this that means whenever you'll be creating any customer master in service customer group you need to fill this required field that is the region field so suppose I make it as a mandatory part over here and saved it saved it means it will take the configuration on the request so your service customer group is created and in that I made the changes in the general data so in the same way in the general data if you feel any fields in these are to be done mandatory like in the communication again double clicking on it you can see the communication detail like fax number, tell box, internet address, mobile number if you need to make mandatory you need the email address of the consumer to be made as a mandatory you can make this as a mandatory and fields which you think are not needed are useless I, you don't want those to be displayed on a screen you can make those fields as suppressed like suppose I don't need this teletext I can go and I can fill on a suppressed part so this particular field will not get displayed on a screen to you this will be hidden in the background save it and the setting will get applied same way moving to the company code data company code data in this all the fields are valid at the company code level so if my company code is 1200 whatever details I will fill in this particular part that will be valid only for my company code 1200 so double click on the company code data now let's see what are the details in it like account management so in account management you can find different things in it so in that one of the field is reconciliation account reconciliation account you must always have to make it as a mandatory mark as a required entry because you need to fill the reconciliation account with a GL account as we discussed earlier that 
accounts receivable is a subsidiary ledger and in that whenever we create a customer master we had to assign a GL in it so that the entries of customer will get flow to that ledger account that is why we need this reconciliation account to be filled with a GL number that's why I'm making it as a required entry and you too have always have to make this as a required entry if you will not and you skip this that means you will not be able to post the transactions in the same way if you feel any other fields to be mandatory you can make them as a mandatory mark otherwise you can save it and your settings will be applied your customizations will be applied on a screen so it is sales company code data moving next is sales data sales data double clicking on it it basically relates to the sales and distribution module in sales and distribution module the sales and distribution department fills different details in it like what is the shipping point what is the sales organization then what will be the billing and all so if you go in sales you will find again all as optional so whenever you will go in any of the field status you will find it as optional it will not restrict or make anything as a mandatory but as per requirement if you need anything to be made as a mandatory you can make those things as a required entry from opt entry so these are the things I will not make any changes in the sales data because I am not implementing any sales and distribution module so we'll go back again we'll go back so this is it my service customer group is already created now we'll going back again and now my service customer group is created over here you can see on a screen SERV is the service customer group for my company 1200 even if you want you can make changes to it double click on it and suppose not to get confused with so many different customer groups I put my company code at the last as a remember uh, as a link to remember save it it's now saved we'll go back so in the same way I will be creating one more customer group as said now I will be creating next as a finance customer group so moving over here in a finance customer group suppose I fill the account group as FINC and now I will be customer finance customer group again in this case if you need anything to be mandatory for finance customer group you can go to this field status and you can make those things as a mandatory for example I need my finance customers mobile number to be made mandatory so I can go to this communication double click on it hi so you can go to the back double click on the communication and now I need my mobile number to be made mandatory for the customer so the concerned person from the customer side's mobile number you can make over here as a mandatory part so for making it mandatory you need to make the required entry instead of the optional entry and once you make this and save it in that case your customization will be done for that particular finance customer group so you can see the difference that for finance customer group I have made the mobile number mandatory whereas for service customer group I have not made the mobile number mandatory so for different customer groups there could be few things few fields which you need as a as a compulsory part and for other one it may not be that much compulsory so accordingly you can manage your customer groups now in the same way you can go to the company code data and in that even you can make things um, as a mandatory or suppressed like in payment methods payment transactions you can see there are different fields in it if you feel any of these things are to be made mandatory in this or you don't need those things you can hide them like I don't need the lock box so I want it to be hidden I can go to this suppressed and it will be hidden in it so and save it 
so your two different customer groups have been created one is service customer group another is finance customer groups now moving to the next so this is your customer account group which we have just defined in the same way now moving ahead will be create defining the number range for customer master so moving on a screen now we'll go to the number range going back one step back it will take you to the path now in this path you can see the path is given over here we need to go to create number range for customer mass account groups so in this you can see in the same screen in SAP you can see over here below the create number range for customer account is there you can execute it now executed now we'll go to this change interval to maintain number range for my two different customer groups which I have created as service customer group and finance customer group now you can see different number range are already over here if you need you can use any of them for both of them for both the groups or if you want you can create your own number range as well like suppose I want to create now what I can create you have to look that whatever the number range I would be creating it should not be overlapping to any of these which are in the screen so I can go to this plus you can see these are the serial numbers this 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 the, you just need to have a different serial number you cannot repeat the serial number twice duplicacy is not allowed so suppose I go and I create 8 is there so I create 9 so creating 9 0 9 and the number range I want for is 9 0 0 0 0 2 9 0 9 9 9 and I add it from over here as insert it so inserting it and say the it the in you can see at the below on the foot note enter interval overlaps without overlaps that means this numbers are overlapping so you need to carefully check that these number doesn't uh, does not overlap with any of the others so I can go to this again and you can see the number has been taken inserted and you can see the 9 number is there for it and now you can save it and your number range will be created now I can go back and can assign this number range to the customer account group as you can see so to assigning the number range to the customer account group I need to go to assign number range to customer account group execute it and in this you have to search your own account group in this which you want to assign the number range there are two options either you can go with this as page down dragging it or you can search from this position as well if you remember the account group like I remember for service I it was S E R V enter so you can see in the top of the list I got my account group over here and I created the number range as 09 so I can mark it over as 09 and save it that means your service account uh, service customer group has been assigned the number range as 09 that means whenever a customer will be created the code from and to will be from this number range in the same way if you want the same number range 09 to be used for your finance a customer group even you can assign that so F I N V for finance customer group okay it was F I N C so that is over there and this if I want to use the same number range I can 
assign the same serial number 09 over here or in case you need a different serial number number range so in that case you can create a different serial number with the different from and to range and you can assign that over here for that also so if I save it that means the same serial number range have been assigned to both the custom groups but if I want I can have a different number range assigned to like suppose we go back and we create now I, it came to mind that duplicacy or maybe it will be difficult to remember the customers whether it belongs to the service account group or a finance account group it's better to have a different number range for a easy identification of customers so I decided now later on to go and create a different number range for customer account so we'll be going back again and in that we remember that 909 we have already created so now I will be creating is 10 after 9 so going to this plus 1010 now 2 and if I make it as insert so the number has been inserted for 10 also over here save it ok and now going back I will assign this, this particular number range to my finance account group I don't want to keep the same number range because having a different number range will make me to identify my customer group with that customer master number easily so now FINC enter and this I have defined 09 instead of red now I will be changing it to 1010 save so my customer account group has been created now so we have covered the first three steps of configurations first defining the customer account group second defining the number range for customer master next is assigning number range to customer account group now moving next to defining the customer tolerance so tolerance we have already discussed earlier customer tolerance the customization for customer tolerance and vendor tolerance in accounts payable is same the same customization applies to both of the customer as well as for the vendors still customer account tolerance group are assigned to customer master records which will be will restrict the customer line items payment option customer tolerance allows you to specify the maximum payment difference that can be changed to a GL account and the maximum cash discount percentage and the maximum allowable payment difference in percentage terms up to a total dollar amount how let's see it in the screen in the SAP system going back so as you can see the path after accounts receivable and payable you have to go to the business transactions so we'll be going back to the business transactions and then open item clearing because this is always used at the time of clearing activities clearing differences and clearing differences you can see define tolerance for customer and vendors so you can see the oblique customers oblique vendors because the same customizations apply for both customer and vendor in this you can search your company code 1200 so this is it 1200 we have not created any tolerance groups as that is not needed so double click on the 
company code 1200 you can see in while doing accounts payable we did all these configurations already in the system in this the permitted payment difference basically means that you can make a maximum payment difference with 500 or 5 percent whichever is lower on the other side you can see if automatic write-off is there as we have already discussed in account uh, at the time of accounts payable also that automatic payment hundred rupees sorry hundred dollars or whatever the percentage you assign over here either of those whichever is lower will be allowed as a payment difference so it gives you the maximum payment difference tolerance maximum cash discount percentage and the maximum allowable allowable payment difference in percentage term as you can define the percentage over here that is it is basically used for you can save it in case you did any changes to it so this, that is what the tolerance is all about moving up next defining cash discount for incoming invoices now moving to the cash pay incoming payment and the cash discount in incoming payment going back to the path now discount comes when we receive the incoming payment so we need to go to the incoming payment and then incoming payment global setting and in this we will be assigning the account so we are giving the discount so we need to define the account over here for cash discount granted so executing it you need to put your chart of account over here if you don't remember you can go and even egg have a look from over here what are the different chart of account and which is yours in it so if you remember my chart of account was 1000 so I just went it over here enter so this is what is coming up over here as you can see this is the transaction SKT SKT transaction basically means the cash discount expense now in this I need to assign the account so I need to go and click on this accounts okay save the rules first so you need to save it over here and you can see the option has changed now you can assign the account over here so now in this we need to select the account so for that I will be going to F4 on the screen on the keyboard and in this I will be searching for the GL account if there is any GL account for so they are these are the different but there is no cash discount account there is a received but I am now at this point of time I am allowing the discount so allowing a discount is an expense and receiving is a revenue and income so I need to create a new GL <laughs> I need to create a new GL that is cash discount allowed with so for creating one I need to go to a new screen from this creates a screen and now I will be creating one so going to create one more ledger FS00 if you could remember this was the first some module we did in this you need to put the number over here first so to know the number first we will be looking after what are the different ledgers already created in the system so you can see I need to create an expense ledger and expense in these starts with 4 with 4 and there is already a purchase account so next 4 last time 0 uh, 1 will be for cash discount allowed so I will taking this and just changing the last digit in the sequence 1 go to new 
and then again now over here you need to select the expense as you will be creating an expense part you need to put the sort text cash discount allowed moving to the next tab that is the control data in this you need to select the text category as star check mark the posting without text allowed click on the line item display move to the next now over here I already said in couple of sessions pack that whenever we are creating any expense ledger we will be selecting the field status group as G004 as a cost accounts because all are expense save it so once you save you can remember that your ledger account has been created so this is my ledger account I can select it control C to copy and then you can go to your last screen and you can assign that particular number over here as control V to paste or else the next option is to you can go with this drop down and you can see the list of ledger accounts and in that you can select your cash discount allowed GL which just created so that is there double click on it got selected so once selected you can save it so your cash discount allowed GL has been customized for the company code 1200 so cash discount is over moving next is to maintain the document number range so as already discussed the different transactions customer transactions every transaction will generate a number after posting and that number is what generated from this document number range which we assign so basically we assign two different number range one is 18 and one is 14 18 is for customer invoice and 14 is for customer payment suppose we need to check this I'm going back or we can move to the next screen over here now let's see how OBA7 this is for document types document types makes it easy to understand different type of transactions and their nature for customers all the the document type starts with D you can see D so in D you can see one is customer invoice and one is customer payment so first customer invoice whenever you post any customer invoice in the system the document type generated is D E and whenever you make you receive any incoming payment the customer document type generated is D Z so that makes it easy to identify whether a particular transaction relates to a customer or a vendor or a or a GL account or an asset because everyone have got their own different document types and within that you can easily identify whether it is DZ or DE and it will make it easy to identify whether it is an invoice or a payment so when you double click on any of them you can see what is the number assigned to that the number range the number range assigned over here is 18 you can have your own number range assigned over here as well if you want I can change it I can assign it something else like 10 or maybe 3030 or anything else for that matter as I want to but right now it is coming 18 because this is by default from the SAP software 
so at this point of time i am, will not be changing this is the standard number range for customer invoice in any of the client if you are going for an implementation project you will always find these number range by default in the software so we'll be creating this 18 number range for customer invoice and dz double click 14 for customer payment now you already know to create the number range you need to go for transaction fbn1 the path is also there it's up to you you can go with the path or with the transaction code so moving up to the transaction code you need to go to slash n fbn1 enter now put the company code 1200 and now over here you can go for display intervals it will display you what is already maintained for the company code this is 0 1 15 and 19 if you remember we have maintained this different number range in the earlier sessions going back now you can go to this interval change interval and this we can add intervals by going to this interval option so clicking on this you see the screen comes up over here now what I need to define is 18 and 14 so for 18 I need to define serial number 18 over here and I am defining this document number for the fiscal year 2014 mind it this document number range for transaction data keep changing from year to year so for next year you can you have to define new document number or even you can use whatever is defined already over here you can copy all this number range now assigning it over here one if I have written uh, if I have taken the 18 as a serial number I will also be maintaining the range from 18 only so as to easily identify or too easy to remember things so I have assigned from 18 for serial number 18 insert now I need to 18 has been assigned now I need one more that is 14 so I will again go to this interval and now I will maintain for 14 2014 and I can again insert it over here So you can see your 14 has also been inserted now you can go and you can save it that is it so for and you have to continue so your number range has also been defined in the same way we defined the number range in GL module and in accounts payable as well so this is it for today's lecture We'll continue the further configurations in the next lecture for account receivable. Thank you.